What's up everybody, Sam Smyers here. Today I want to show you to make the Synth 2 Stay by The Killer Roy and Justin Bieber. Now this sound was originally made using a Juno 60 synth, but I want to show you how to remake it in Serum. Now before we get started today, if you're watching this video, then you've probably seen some of my other videos. And if you're not yet subscribed to my channel, please go ahead and subscribe. And also please go ahead and give this video a like to help with that YouTube algorithm. All right, let's go and jump right into it. Now you may have seen a video floating around of Charlie Puth showing how he made the sound to stay. He used a Juno 60 synth and he said he used patch 27. Now I don't have a Juno 60 synth, but I do have the June 6V from Arturia, this VST. And I went to patch 27, which says guitar. And so if I play this patch using the melody of stay, So that sounds kind of close to what it sounds like in the song, but not exactly. There's probably some more EQing going on and playing around with some reverb and delay. So I'm just gonna use this as a starting point though when I start to remake the sound in Serum. I did add on the chorus. This patch actually doesn't have the chorus turned on, so let me just go ahead and go back to the original patch if I just load it up by itself. Now let me just take a look at this patch and see what's going on. There is the pulse wave or the square wave going on and this little line connects it to the PWM, which means pulse width modulation. So there's going to be some of this PWM going on. We've got the filter uh, going on as well. So now just using that, knowing I'm going to only really use one oscillator, that will help me figure out how to make it in Serum. So let me just load up the initial preset in Serum. And for oscillator, I am gonna go ahead and put it onto basic shapes. This is where you can find the basic wavetables. So I will put it on the square wave. And then to get my PWM, I have to go into this little knob, the warp knob and PWM right there. So I'm gonna increase this. And I found that at about 25%, it sounded best. <laughs> Now that's very bright. So actually before I continue on, I'm just gonna throw on the filter just to save our eardrums. So let's go ahead and make some adjustments to the envelope one. Now the envelope one, I wanna give it a bit of release. So I'm doing this so we get a bit of a initial pluck at the beginning, just lowering the sustain and the release. I wanna give it maybe around 300, 400 milliseconds. So that sounds pretty good to me. Now, what I wanna do is assign my envelope one to the filter cutoff. So envelope one to the filter cutoff. And I'm gonna put this around like 250 or so. And let's make some adjustments to the modulation here. And then let's go ahead and raise up this resonance and the drive as well. I like to raise this up if I increase the resonance because it tends to make this part go lower uh, below the cutoff curve. So I'm going to go ahead and let's see, put this at 20% and raise up the drive to 20% as well. And now what I want to do is in my MIDI, let me just show you the MIDI. So on the lower notes, these bass notes, I have the velocity a lot lower versus these higher notes. So there you see 100 and then on the lower note, you see it says 56. What I want to do is go to my cutoff and play around with this velocity curve. I'm gonna give this velocity a bit of a curve. So now when I play notes quieter, you'll see this line go down here. And then when I play them harder, they'll go up to here. What I'm gonna do is assign this velocity to the cutoff. And I just wanna adjust this a tiny bit. And basically now what is gonna happen is when I play notes harder, or you see that MIDI, the notes are being played with a, a higher velocity then the cutoff is going to raise up more versus those lower notes. So essentially, I have those lower notes, they're going to be a bit br less bright when you hear them versus the higher notes. All right, so after that, I'm going to go ahead and add on EQ just to roll off some of that low end around 190 hertz. And then I'll add on some compression. And now what I want to do is add on a chorus, a delay, and a reverb. Now the best way that I found to get this sound 
to be as close to the original song as possible was to use a chorus from the Juno 60. And Arturia makes a separate plugin where you can actually just use the chorus. So you can hear the big difference this chorus makes. I'll play it with the chorus on. Now I'll play it without the chorus. So it makes a huge difference, and I wasn't really able to get the sound to be like that with the chorus and serum. So if you have this chorus, then I would use this Juno chorus because it is like a signature sound that Ju the Juno has. And then after that, I used just a delay plugin. This is the Echo plugin. You can find this in Ableton, the stock Echo plugin. I have it at a quarter note, and I have the right side offset a tiny bit and a very low feedback at like 26%. And then I have this filter on and then dry and wet at 33%. And then a bit of reverb at 18%, this hall reverb. That's a pretty low level just to really kind of smooth out some of that delay. Now let me play you the final sound and show you the MIDI as well. Now, if you don't want to use these external effects, let me show you how we can remake it in Serum, just using the effects in Serum. And I wasn't able to get this chorus to sound as good as that Juno chorus, but this is essentially what I was able to figure out. I don't really like this chorus in Serum that much, but if you want to add on a chorus, this is all that, all that we have if you want to use all of the uh, effects just within Serum. So that is the chorus, and then I'll add on the delay, and so for the delay, once again I have the quarter note delay, offsetting the right side a tiny bit, and that gives it a bit of a stereo effect, and then a bit of this filter. And then a bit of reverb, I have the hall reverb on, and you can go ahead and copy these settings. Size and decay, so size at about 27%, and then the decay at about three seconds or so, and mix at about 18%. Now that's how you create the synth to stay by the Kid Leroy and Justin Bieber. If you do want to grab this preset, I'll put a link down below so you can grab it for free. If you enjoyed this video, please go ahead and give it a like and also please subscribe to my channel if you are not yet subscribed. And also, if you'd like to check out any of my Serum preset packs, I'll put links down below for those as well. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you next time.